Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So you guys already know that I love to share the strange things I find on the internet. So when I found this abandoned creepy McDonald's, I had to make a video about it, even if it was brief. I'll show you some photos and videos, but honestly guys, I would love to go ghost hunting at this place. It's so creepy, it's so awesome. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Are you ready? for all of your McDonald's nightmares to come true. Because this restaurant is not a happy place. People aren't loving it, if you know what I mean. So there was a floating McDonald's built in 1986 for a fair called Expo 86 in Vancouver, Canada. And that was like 30 years ago, guys. It's been a long time since that was built. And yes, I did say floating. There is a floating McDonald's. McDonald's was a boat. So for all of you subs who live in Vancouver, maybe you've heard of this place. Maybe you have seen it already. Your eyes may have already gazed upon the Mick creepiness. Mick creepiness. I really tried saying that well. But for those of you who haven't, you might find this video interesting because I definitely thought that what I found was interesting. So to build this floating McDonald's way back then, it cost them nine million dollars. That's a lot of money for a place that became abandoned pretty soon after. And it's kind of sad because their plan after they built this was to take this floating McDonald's around the world, which I think is kind of a, a crazy idea and obviously it didn't work out that way. So unfortunately Unfortunately, it just became abandoned and people like to break in there quite often because it looks cool Why wouldn't you but don't do it guys? Okay, don't don't tell your parents that Jesse V told you you can go break in wherever you want because it's abandoned Okay, that's not what I'm saying and because people have been breaking into this old McDonald's We have some videos and some photos that we can look at we are able to see the interior of this creepy place I found a couple videos online that show the inside of this floating McDonald's. There's not a lot of footage there's only a little tiny bit, but at least you'll get a general idea of what it looks like inside. And I'm definitely crediting the people down below that took this footage. And uh, yeah, here's a little peek. So that's pretty weird, right? Did you like the creepy music I added on top of that? It's funny because whenever I'm showing like my ghost hunting footage or something like that, I always pair it with eerie music and some people really don't like that. I get a lot of comments saying, Jesse, why? Why did you add the creepy music? And I mean, all you have to do is press mute. I think adding creepy music always adds this eerie atmosphere, you know? No music is boring. I don't know, I just like getting scared, honestly. But yeah, wasn't that cool? I honestly want to explore it so, so badly. Like I'm going to Vancouver Vancouver really soon and I don't think I'd ever be able to vlog there just because I'm pretty sure the restaurant was bought by someone. What's his name? It's a guy named Howard Meekin. So he bought this old floating McDonald's and he's planning on renovating it really soon and he says it's probably not gonna be another restaurant. They're kind of scrapping that idea. They're gonna make it into something else. I've heard some rumors that it's gonna be made into a homeless shelter which could be kind of cool. A floating homeless shelter. But until it gets renovated people continue to call it the ghost ship because it's just out on the water floating all by itself and it looks super run down obviously and just and just creepy But yeah, I just thought that was super weird and cool at the same time And I like to show you guys as I said stuff I find online that I think is kind of creepy and might interest you guys, you know So I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Don't forget there are still Jesse V tour tickets available I am showing three never before seen videos. There's gonna be dancing a live Q&A a meet and greet all kinds of really cool stuff It's gonna be in Ontario, Canada and Quebec so if you guys want to come, I will put the ticket links down below along with my other social media and my vlog channel. So check that out and until next time guys, bye!